Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There is no sound. All right, cool. A couple of things just quickly. I would try to take out your image plane or whatever um, you have there in terms of that X. And I'm curious if you can create holdouts. So I'm not sure if it's kind of digging through those pieces now, right? And we should not see it. Is it in front of that piece? Is it in front of that spoon or not? Is it flying behind it and evading, <coughs> excuse me, that spoon? Which I have a feeling no, because otherwise you would never see it. But maybe that's what you wanted to do, but then, but then this happened. I don't know, I'm not sure. Because you are mentioning this is still rough. So here are just my, my thoughts on this. Like, this is cool. I'm a big fan of this. It's cool. And it's cool to see a, a, a shot with a plate. It's rare, very rare. Actually, you might even be the first one in my workshop to ever present something like that. It's cool. So my first impression is you have to look at scale, right? Hand, spoon, obviously all of this, and the size of the dragon. But when the dragon goes up, whew, whew, this feels like a really big dragon. And I would look at this in terms of a smaller bird so it would be more like a lot of faster flapping of wings besides because there's a couple things where generally when you flap like your body's not going to go all the way up starting here like the wings will be around here to here and until then the body's still going to drop i can't even see my uh, horrible scribbles so by the time like I said, the wings are maybe around here, between here and here, or probably around here. That's when the body goes up and not starting here. There's not enough wind resistance and, and push from the wings. I probably also flatten those uh, wings a bit more and bring up the tips. But before we go into wing shapes, because even through here, you could potentially even break the wings more as as the bird goes up because you have flat wings like this as you go down all the way down here and then when it reverses you got the the tips reversing there and then you have a lot of breakage in the wings and then as it unfolds again the tips are dragging until you go the other way and the tips are like this but it's usually you know not flat but you have the other side of the wing coming up as an offset and and you know the height of each wing and like i said the tips horrible drawings uh, tips at the end like this and as the base changes direction that's when the tip will reverse but then like i said you're going to start having a breakage in the wings as they go up and now looking at your rhythm that's good that's good so it's usually slow down fast up slow down because you have all that wind resistance of the flattened wing membrane and everything and then as the uh, the flap goes up as you break the wings there's less resistance going up meaning that up is fast down is slow that being said again looking at the scale i mean personally i, I would just i feel like you could treat this as a smaller bird or something like this makes more sense like that type of speed but then here again it's all very slow this feels more like a landscape and you know guys you're going ah that kind of size but then this speed feels better so it's a bit all over the map in terms of scale and everything and same thing here as you go up like this creature would up hang and drop and see how the body starts to ease in and stop and already magically go up before those wings are actually here so i'll be careful and just offset the timing of the wings so that that's when they flap that propels the, the creature back up there but i mean again i'm not very uh structured in my critique i've been giving you some animation notes but generally it's just the principle of it because i think the animation needs to change mainly because of size like this is all cool and it's a tricky thing because it's definitely very fast like that the the pot there right so as you do this 
that root to me would be around here. Like it's being pulled away where, whoa, and the head might be higher. If that makes sense, where the, the feet used to be here. Now the pan gets pulled so quickly that I don't think the body, would, like the whole creature wouldn't go with it. Like it would be dragged on their way from its feet again so that it would drag a lot and lean backwards. Maybe that where you feel like, whoa, it's going to fall off the pan. That's why it starts to jump off and flap, if that makes sense. But again, then I would treat this as a, as a faster creature. And then also, once you go up here, it's woom, woom. It's just very repetitive. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing really, there's nothing really happening where I'll be careful because you're talking here about you haven't touched the tail. That's totally fine. Rough pass on the head. Totally fine too. And you want to make the end a bit more entertaining. Maybe some backflip works at the scene. You just want more interaction with the frying pan maybe. And you're concerned about, oh, you want to clarify the performance. So to me, it feels like I will probably, what is he doing here? Okay. So to me, it feels like what if, again, this is not like, you don't have to do this. I'm just thinking out loud. What if the wings are more folded and more tucked in and something where there is a clear difference here between the head uh, and the wings and the tail could just be whatever and the wings are back there so all the focus is on the head and the head has quick darts like a bird quick darts following that spoon following what's going on in here and none of the flapping so that we always have a clear view because right now the silhouette's gone i'm not quite seeing now i'm just seeing movement and it would be kind of neat again subjectively uh if the wings are still back there and just the head the head just keeps looking like mm, what is this what is going on here and only when this happens, and like I said, the feet are being pulled away from the center of gravity here, from the root and everything, that's when the wings unfold. Like, whoa, what the hell? And then maybe it might fall even a bit, and then flap, 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 flap. And then you can have this, but then that would make the flaps a bit more like this. Now, even that is too repetitive, right? It would be over here something like that where it felt like whoa and there's this big arc because of recovery and then oh what's going on here what's going on here it's almost like this right you fall back big recovery and then oh okay i recovered okay let me get closer what is going on here and then get into that but the question is is that to eat like what's the reason for this and like i said before um you want to create some holdouts I and mean, we need to understand where this character is in relationship to everything here in front of it not in front of it if it is behind it it will be covered all the time so be careful about that like to me it could almost be something where like again because because it is a smaller creature you have the the license to be fast and kind of dive in and pick up things what if it's here falls back goes up and maybe a moment's like this it would dive in and pick uh, a piece mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, beat and then fly over and then when this happens get back in mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, pick a piece and then you can just create a geometry and pick that same color and then just pretend that it's eating a yellow or red piece so there's a lot of time here right so does this Falls back, recovers, swoops in to eat. Yeah, I mean you can you can you can time it in a way where you're here. Whoa, foo, goes down. Foo, foo. It does the whole recovery thing of whoa, and then shoo, 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 shoo. so we have that, and then maybe that's the last big one, maybe or maybe this one. That's when it swoops in, and maybe you know it could be an interesting way of flying through it or kind of around it while the head is still grabbing it and then eats it and this could be you know you can do something where it might swoop in and go back a bit swoop in go back a bit and then go in if that makes sense like so you so i'm all over the map here let me just explain my my crazy thought process here flies down falls down flies up does a big recovery and then in place to kind of reassess the situation and then might go in once and then maybe go back like oh that was not the right timing let me try now like it's almost trying to get in to pick a piece and then it goes in and this could be one two or one two three where you go always a bit closer and then in 
And then you see how it comes down here. I think that could be the moment where a creature could be here and f and flapping in place and up, 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 like, you know, putting that piece in its, in its throat and eating it. And then when this happens, that kind of wakes up the creature, you know, like not wakes up, he's not sleeping, but like, oh, oh, it continues and maybe maybe changes a bit where it flies back a bit here, like it was eating here, but then here's that sound, goes back a bit to not get attacked and waits a bit. And then when this happens, like, oh, it's starting again. And then it could either go in again for another bite. And what else could you do? I mean, it could be... I mean, that could be an idea. I'm just concerned now that I'm going in, picking a piece. Oh, another one goes in. And then that's repetitive by doing this again. Not sure if you have enough time, right? If you go this and it's eating here or here, this happens, flies over here, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then sees this, ooh, and then dives for another one, which would be maybe here. Like you would even, you might potentially cut on action right as it goes through. But I mean, that could be something interesting with the holdout where like the head is here, open mouth has a piece, wings through there, and then you can just animate little geometry pieces flying off as it pierces through this i don't know it's thinking out loud this is i think these are some of the things you could do i mean or you just cut the shot short you do all this falls recovers whoa and then like i said then it goes either it's like oh, let me eat oh that was not great or let me try let me try all right let me try and have that type of contrast and timing and then what it's doing it's eating 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 and then when he or she does this, it could be just a little, whoa, too close and flies over there and then maybe cuts. Or, or again, just goes in and is able to grab it and then eats and it ends with a nice swallow. And then that's it, where you don't have to do the full shot, potentially. Um, but that's kind of it. Lots of rambling. Lots of thinking out loud. I don't know. Let me know what you think. You can pick and choose. Obviously, do whatever you want with the shot. These are just my thoughts on uh, what I'm seeing here. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.